Shakespeare. Welcome to my world, where it's naturally supernatural. My guest has literally prayed and taught tens of thousands of people to operate in the supernatural and in miracles. But she got one revelation, and she says that when she started teaching this, she saw more supernatural manifestations of good things happening than anything she'd ever done. Are you interested in learning this? Is there a supernatural dimension? A world beyond the one we know? Can we tap into ancient secrets of the supernatural? Can our dreams contain messages from heaven? Is God ready to bring a tsunami wave of healing onto planet Earth today? Sid Roth has spent over 40 years researching the strange world of the supernatural. Join Sid for this edition of It's Supernatural. Now, Dr. Sandra Kennedy has had a marvelous ministry for many years. She has a congregation, a teaching school. She releases teams into actual hospitals where people get healed. Uh, but you told me at dinner last night that over the last six months, there's something new going on. Mm -hmm. what's, ha what's happening in your congregation? We have an invasion of the Holy Spirit, an absolute invasion of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> People are seeing angels, seeing Jesus walk up and down the aisles. I mean, when I say angels, I mean 50, 100 tons of angels and Jesus himself walking, laying hands on folks. And the presence of the Lord is just tangible, Sid. It is the most wonderful thing. But why is this going on now? Because I'm hearing this in many pockets throughout the world that this is all of a sudden erupting. Why do you think it's erupting I, I now? think a new season ha has broken loose. And I think it back in August when we had that eclipse that took place, I think there's a shift in the heavenly dimensions that happened on that I day. I do too. I really do. I believe something broke loose, and we are just on a road to see the glory of God. But, but you know something, Sandra, despite that wonderful thing that you just said, there are so many defeated believers. Yes. What is the devil's greatest strategy to cause believers to be so defeated? Well, he doesn't want you to know the power of the blood and doesn't want you to know that you're really a cleansed. He, doesn't, he, he just doesn't want you to understand who you really are in Christ Jesus is the best way I would put it. He just doesn't want you to understand what Jesus has really done for you. This is the part that really just blows my mind of the goodness of Almighty God. You know, uh, not only when he comes in and you're born again, we forget what the blood does. We, we remember that it cleanses of our sins, but we forget that the blood can take care of every area of our heart. And I said before I began, became a pastor, and I used to work in mental health, and, and, uh, uh, and I worked as a therapist and got a six-year degree in uh, religious psychology. And so I saw all kind of people who, uh, out in the world even, not, I'm not talking about church, but out in the world, were all kind, of, all kind of problems. I became a pastor, and everybody in the church had the same problem that everybody in the world had. Well, I, that, that just did not make any sense to me. Or if you gave an altar call, uh, people who have come in to visit couldn't get down to the altar for the people who are church members running back down to rededicate. And, and, and I said, something is terribly wrong here. And so that's when I began to really delve in the power of the blood of Jesus and our understanding that there's something that looks like a stain. It's, it's called defilement. And, and we would, you know, when you backslide, uh, you, uh, well, I did at least. I've, re, I've, I've rededicated my life so many times I broke the rededicator. You know, I just, <laughs> <laughs> but, and, but you and I cannot hardly grab hold of the fact of how wonderful Jesus is. And so we walk around uh, knowing that we're saved, 
but not holding our head down, shameful, thinking somebody's going to find it out, somebody's going to bring that up, or, I, I, you know, I'm, I'm embarrassed because of who I was or what I did. Listen, I'm, I'm talking about myself now. I've, I've walked these roads. You use a term. I want you to comment on this. The term you use is thoroughly cleansed. Yes, thorough, yes, where, where that you, you're, you're so clean and you, you, you accept it by faith. You're just so clean that you almost can't believe it, to tell you the truth. And so that somebody were to bring it up, this is what the blood does. If somebody were to bring up and say, I knew you when, you automatically would begin to say, uh-uh, that person's dead. I don't even know who you're talking about. Yeah. I mean, but there's a place that we can get there. We can get there. We can make... We, the Lord is waiting for the church to lead the way. I mean, all the powerhouse of God is inside of us. And the world is waiting on us to be shining lights and, and lead people to the Lord Jesus Christ. This is harvest time. Speaking, you use the word power. Yes. And, and when we come back in a moment, I'm going to have her talk about the foundation of the blood that very few Bible believers know because it's in the Old Covenant, which gives you the foundation for all we have revealed in the New Covenant. But you, there was a warlock that came to your church and tell me about, like Habakkuk says, there's a, a light a power coming out of hands. Yeah. Rays Tell of me light. briefly. Rays, Rays of light. It yeah, says. yeah. Uh, after the close of church one day, I, I, I stood down on, on the floor to dismiss the congregation, and I just did my hand back like that, just like that. And when I did, I heard bam, and I didn't know what had happened. I went ahead and closed the service. At the end of the service, this big guy came up to me, and he said to me, uh, "What did you hit me with?" And I mean, he's in the back of the church. I said, I don't know what you're talking about. He said, when you did your finger, a beam of light came out of your finger and hit me directly in the head and knocked me out. I, I, but then there was more to the story. Yeah, there was, there was. And come to find out, he was a warlock. And I told him all about Jesus. He wasn't interested in Jesus. He was interested in the power. There's somebody in the Bible who kind of talks about that, too. So he was interested in the power. But I told him it was Jesus. And it shocked me more than it did him. And, and of course, you know, I, I, I'm sure you, uh, uh, they've told you about it. You heard when I walked into a meeting one day, and there are 400, 500 people there. I walked up on the stage, and all I did was something like that. And every person in the auditorium hit the floor. Everybody on the stage hit the floor. Everybody at the piano hit the floor. I'm the only person in the auditorium standing. <laughs> and do you know what I did? I hit the floor. <laughs> I'll tell you what. When she explains this revelation on the blood that you cannot even grasp if you don't know the Old Covenant, I don't even like the name Old Covenant because it's the foundation. Absolutely. I would call it, you know, I'm going to come up with a new name for Old Covenant. Amen. How about the Foundation Book? Yes. I like that. Mm -hmm. When we come back, she's going to tell us something from the Foundation Book that will cause the blood of Jesus to, uh, to give you a revelation and protection and healing and freedom like you've never had before. We will be right back to It's Supernatural. Hello, YouTube, Mishpocha. Mishpocha is a Hebrew word. It means family. This is Sid Roth. Welcome to my world where it's naturally supernatural. If you've been blessed by this show, please subscribe. Then click the bell so you won't miss a single episode of It's Supernatural. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, Sandra, I want you to teach us the revelation God taught you about the blood of Jesus, starting with the foundation, that if you don't know the foundation book, otherwise known as the Old Testament, there's no way you're going to understand the New Covenant. 
Tell me about that foundation. You know, I've been teaching healing for years and years and years and years. But I got hung up on a scripture in the New Testament that said that Jesus came to fulfill the Old Testament. Then the thought went through my mind, well, if he fulfilled the Old Testament, then I need to know what he fulfilled because if he fulfilled it, I, yeah, I got it. Yeah. It's mine. So then I began to flip through mm -hmm. and read particularly on the power of the blood. And I began to discover that the priest <laughs> there, at, at, at the power that they had, and, and how they could wash themselves in the blood morning and evening, and it would do away with any sin, anything, and even you could take it and apply it to other people. In, 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 in the, you're being a priest and how you could apply, apply it towards Yeah, but those were priests. Yeah, but I'm a priest. I thought you were a woman. I knew you thought wrong. <laughs> <laughs> You're a priest because the new covenant Amen. says Absolutely. you are, and that's good enough for Absolutely. me. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. And when I, I just, you know, the Bible says that people perish for lack of knowledge. Yeah, you know what? They even went to the priest when to, to, to be cleared of leprosy. Yes. So they were in effect, they were involved in forgiveness yes. and healing. Yes. Well, the priests were really the guardians, I found out, of the health of the community. And I thought, good grief, we are guardians, of course, having so much, you know, to do with, with healing, we are guardians of the health of our church, of the health of our area, health of our family. If we just know how to apply the blood and do a morning and evening sacrifice, it says do it continuously. A while ago, we were talking about the hands and the rays of light that comes yes. out. Uh, when you have rays of light, I, I, I discovered that during praise and worship, when people raise their hands, mm -hmm. if believers understood and believed and would begin to raise their hands and, and, and use their hands as rays of light, it would divide the darkness and clear up the area over you so that you could have a clearer space to heaven. What, what a wonderful way to start your prayer. When you taught this revelation in your church, mm -hmm. What effect did it have? It, the, the main thing it did, every area of somebody's life was touched. It was, it was astounding to me. Uh, we, took, we did a little survey. We only took about 100 people, but we did anyway. And we were going to go in to the different places. We were going to wash the areas, uh, like in your house, wash you in the blood, wash your husband in the blood, mm -hmm. wash your children in the blood. If you don't have any, wash your dog in the blood, whatever needs to be calm. <laughs> Hallelujah. You know? I know some dogs I that do need too. to be washed in the blood. That's right. <laughs> wash them in your office. Go wash the air. I just wash it. You know, I wash it in the blood of Jesus. And, and I, we did it for two weeks straight. And after those two weeks, 85%, 80 to 85% of everyone who participated saw immediate change. That is pretty, yeah. pretty amazing. Yeah, it is. What in your mind, there's a visible world and there's an invisible world. Right. Many people are not seers. Right. A seer can see inside the invisible world. Right. But what is going on in the invisible world when you're speaking the blood of Jesus out of your mouth. What's happening that we're well, not seeing with our eyes? Demons are dialing 911. <laughs> 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 they are running every direction under the sun because there is nothing. They are afraid of the power of the blood and the name of Jesus. They are. Now, when those demons are running, yes. and we don't see them running, right. if they can convince us nothing happened, we'll drop the st speaking the blood. Yes, we that, th that's their job mm -hmm. to get us off mm -hmm. the truth about the blood. Mm -hmm. And if you get off the truth, you go come back feeling guilty, stained, something's wrong with you, want to hide. Uh, 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 you, you walk around in, in a shadow, so to speak, and, and uh, uh, you feeling defiled. The word is defiled. You feel defiled. There's 16 names for defiled in, in the Bible, but the one, the, there are about four that really, really matter here. De being defiled means being common. We're not common. You know, we are peculiar, but we're not common. And then it, uh, you feel dirty, you feel wounded, and you feel stained. 
And so those are the things that make Christians not come on and be who they ought to be. And washing in the blood takes care of all of that. If you stop doing it, those four things in particular that makes you be like a wimp and you act like the tail instead of the head, you fall into that category when you back away from using the power that God has given you and that power God ordained and put inside of you when you were born again is in you ready to be released so that you can operate in the glory of God. Now, now you said that the priests in the, uh, in the uh, Old Covenant yes. um, cleansed themselves twice a day. Mm -hmm. I know you do this. Mm -hmm. I want to find out exactly how you do it for yourself when we come back. And I want to find out the twin of atonement of sin, yes. forgiveness of sin. I want to find out that same blood, how that operates in healing. We'll be right back. We will be right back to It's Supernatural! Call now and get Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book and three-part audio CD teaching, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9539 through Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood. You will begin to walk in freedom from guilt and shame. Experience victory over the strongholds of sin and bondage. Learn how to agree with every promise and provision that the cross has made available to you. Understand the significant truth that God's forgiveness has no limits and His power knows no bounds. Enjoy a right standing with God that leads to His favor and an impartation of His blessings. Receive supernatural emotional and physical healing. At the end of the book, Sandra includes a beautiful and powerful prayer of thankfulness for the cross, the blood, and the benefits we have because of the blood, forgiveness, healing, and freedom. Through Dr. Kennedy's three-part audio CD teaching, you will learn that every believer is a new covenant priest. And as a priest, understand what the ongoing role the blood of Jesus should play in every believer's life. Discover how to apply the blood of Jesus to your family and to others. Understand about the finished work of the cross and how to apply it to bring cleansing, sanctification, and healing. Understand how to cleanse yourself with the blood of Jesus, your eyes, ears, hands, feet, so that you can be set free and walk in victory every day. This series includes almost three hours of powerful teaching exclusively for you from Sandra Kennedy. Play it in your car, on your computer, get it for yourself, or share with your small group or your church. This is not just good teaching about the blood. If you don't have a deep, deep revelation of the blood, how do you expect to fulfill your destiny? Jesus is coming back sooner than you think. Don't miss out on getting Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book and three-part audio CD teaching, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9539. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9539 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. We now return to It's Supernatural. Now, Sandra, you had a discussion with the Lord yes. about healing. Yes. And he answered you. What did he say? Well, I was discussing how I wasn't getting my healing the way I wanted to get it. And, and I began to, to say, well, the devil began to talk and say, well, you don't deserve this like he does to everybody. Mm -hmm. You don't deserve this, blah, 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 blah. And I then began to say this to the Lord. And the Lord said back to me, but my blood took care of that. <laughs> and and uh, so I would name something else, but my blood took care of that. And I named something else, but my blood took care of that. And said, no matter what I name, and then I began to name what all the people in the churches told me, why they couldn't get healed or why things wouldn't happen. And God is my eternal witness. The glory of God came in my staircase and, and everything I said, he answered, but my blood took care of that. But my blood took care of that. There wasn't a thing I Do you know name. when you say that, that phrase, when she says, but my blood took care of that? 
I can feel that I don't feel the light. I feel yeah. rays, though, mm -hmm. of healing going yes. out. Yes. Every time you say that. Yes. But my blood took care of that. Let's say it together. Yeah. But my, my blood, blood took, took care, care of that. that. Well, that's a powerful statement. Which means that no one could ever come to you with, with, uh, with anything that they, uh, hell would have said to them cannot be cured. And nothing, nothing, but my blood took care of that. My blood took care of that. So no matter what anyone is going through, I don't care what it is. I don't care if it's family problems. I don't care if it's any kind of sickness. I don't care if they're on death's bed. But my blood took care of every sickness, every disease. And, and we're always thinking, thank God he took care of all the sins. Praise mm -hmm. the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. But he also, the blood at the whipping post, the blood, wounds came at the at the whipping post. Blood came out of the wounds. So you're saying to me that every believer that is convinced because of the death and resurrection and the shedding of the blood of Jesus, they are forgiven of all sins, should be just as convinced that by his blood you are healed. Yes. Yes. Show me very briefly uh -huh. what you, how you pray the blood every morning and every evening in your home for yourself. No one's looking but you and okay. God. As if I were taking a shower. You know, I, I, I take the blood. I wash my eyes in the blood. I wash my ears in the blood. I wash my mouth in the blood so that my ears will hear only what God says. My eyes will see only what God wants me to see. My mouth will speak only what God wants me to say because life and death are in the power of the tongue. I wash my hands so that my hands can be used for God Almighty because hands can get you in trouble. They can do all kind of bad things and go all kind of get very defiled. I wash my hands. I wash my feet. And if there's a, say I have a tumor or something, I wash that tumor in the name of Jesus, in the blood of Jesus and command it to go in Jesus. Jesus' name with the blood of Jesus, just like you're taking a bath, just like you're taking a bath. And, and believe it or not, when you get through, you feel like you done had another blast. Hallelujah. <laughs> uh, you know, people that are attacked at night, yes. how valuable would it be for them to do that before they went to bed? Yes, and to wash their mind, yes. to wash their mind and wash their dream life, to wash it in the blood of the Lamb. It's amazing what it will do. It, it, I mean, God just, you know, He just goes into every area of our life. I want you to pray the blood over everyone watching right now to, to have the shame removed yes. and have, be physically healed yes, right now. Yes. In the name of Jesus, I'm telling you right now, I come against that which has come against you. All shame, all guilt, all dirtiness, all filthy feelings, all those things that you feel that you can't even hold your head up from. I wash you in the blood of Jesus. If you've invited Jesus into your heart, you already belong to him. Now take his blood and just cleanse yourself in it from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Any kind of sickness, we hold up the blood and wash ourselves from any kind of defilement, wounds, any kind of defilements in the name of Jesus. And I expect you to absolutely, just as you get, have been dirty going into a shower and you come out feeling refreshed, you ought to feel totally refreshed once you have bathed yourself in the supernatural power of the blood of Jesus. And I call it done in Jesus' name. And for those of you that want this promise to be true. I shall never leave you, Jesus says. That means in this life and all of eternity. Who would want to live this life without knowing God, without having experiential knowledge of God? You want to have your own experiential knowledge. Open the door. Tell Jesus you're sorry for your mistakes. They're called sins and believe that blood washes them away and he doesn't remember them anymore. Then when you're clean, ask Jesus to live inside of you and be your Lord. Do that and you and I will be together for eternity. Satan's strategy against believers has been exposed to magnify a believer's sins, to try to minimize God's forgiveness and keep the believer in a state of condemnation. 
harass, frustrate, and try to hold a believer in patterns of failure to prevent us from walking in all God has for us, to keep us from discovering the truth that God wants to heal us, deliver us, and empower us. Dr. Sandra Kennedy wants you to know that Jesus has already paid the price for you to walk in freedom. Now she wants to teach you how to access all the benefits that the blood of Jesus has won for you to walk free, victorious, and healed. Call now and get Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book and three-part audio CD teaching, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9539 through Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood. You will begin to walk in freedom from guilt and shame. Experience victory over the strongholds of sin and bondage. Learn how to agree with every promise and provision that the cross has made available to you. Understand the significant truth that God's forgiveness has no limits and His power knows no bounds. Enjoy a right standing with God that leads to His favor and an impartation of His blessings. Receive supernatural emotional and physical healing. At the end of the book, Sandra includes a beautiful and powerful prayer of thankfulness for the cross, the blood, and the benefits we have because of the blood, forgiveness, healing, and freedom. Through Dr. Kennedy's three-part audio CD teaching, you will learn that every believer is a new covenant priest. And as a priest, understand what the ongoing role the blood of Jesus should play in every believer's life. Discover how to apply the blood of Jesus to your family and to others. Understand about the finished work of the cross and how to apply it to bring cleansing, sanctification, and healing. Understand how to cleanse yourself with the blood of Jesus, your eyes, ears, hands, feet, so that you can be set free and walk in victory every day. This series includes almost three hours of powerful teaching exclusively for you from Sandra Kennedy. Play it in your car, on your computer, get it for yourself, or share with your small group or your church. When you clean yourself up with the blood, praise the Lord, you get a direct line to the Lord Jesus Christ, and your life will be changed forever because you're getting things out of your life that you drug along in your life. This is not just good teaching about the blood. The Old Covenant is the foundation for everything we have in the New Covenant. But if you don't know your foundation, your building's going to be a little shaky. If you don't have a deep, deep revelation of the blood, how do you expect to fulfill your destiny? Jesus is coming back sooner than you think. Don't miss out on getting Dr. Sandra Kennedy's powerful brand new book and three-part audio CD teaching, The Cleansing Healing Power of the Blood, exclusive for our It's Supernatural audience. Yours for a donation of $35. Shipping and handling is included. Ask for offer number 9539. Call or you can send your check to Sid Roth. It's Supernatural, P.O. Box 39222, Charlotte, North Carolina, 28278. Please specify offer number 9539 or log on to SidRoth.org. Call or write today. Next week on It's Supernatural. Hello, I'm Dave Hayes, also known as The Praying Medic. Have you ever asked yourself, is God really speaking? And have you asked yourself, can I learn how to hear his voice? Well, join me on the next episode of It's Supernatural with Sid Roth and find out the answer. And I'll give you a hint. The answer is yes and yes.